Hello everybody, it is me, Pacific. I want to thank one of my viewers personally for giving me the link to this video that I'm going to be discussing and I'm going to try to keep it brief. It's about expat women in Hong Kong. I think the video was well done, but they focused specifically on, looks like, three women talking about their experiences and saying how they did not assimilate into the uh, Chinese culture. I wanted to talk about that because I want to share my personal experiences and observations of 13 months of living in Hong Kong. This is a fact, and I talked to other people while I was there, and I was not the only one who came away with this conclusion. I found white women expats in Hong Kong not only to be so rude, but they were so insular, and they expect everybody to fall all over them. The one woman interviewed in the video said that on the minibus, the Chinese women are talking loud on their cell phones. Lady, I don't know where you're from. But everywhere I go, I see white women on their cell phones, blah, 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 talking on them in the theater, texting in school. I mean, seriously. These three women were in Sular. They live cushy lifestyles because their husband makes big money. And because the Chinese society doesn't worship at their feet and fall all over them, I think they're having a problem. Some of them said they tried to assimilate. I'm not going to question that. I'm going to talk about my experiences watching and observing mostly white women in Aussie land, which I call mid-levels, the white women that I saw in other parts of Hong Kong. I'm a white guy, and I'd be on the tram, and I stopped smiling at them or looking at them. They were stuck up, they were conceited, and they were very rude, and they brought their, whether it was their Western culture, their Aussie culture, and parked it in the middle of an Asian freeway and were very upset when the Chinese weren't doing what their compatriots in their own country would normally do. Wow, she's so beautiful. I'm sorry to be harsh, ladies, but I personally am a nice person. I try to make every effort to get along with everybody. My friends in Hong Kong were Filipinas, Indonesian, Sri Lankan, Pakistani, and I even dated a Chinese woman there. And I had several Chinese male friends and female friends that, that worked in restaurants. They weren't rich people. And they liked me. One guy gave me his number and said, Yeah, someday let's go for a walk. Bang, yo! The problem with a lot of white women in Asian culture is they don't leave their culture at home. When I commented on Chinese rude in Hong Kong, I share some of the opinions of the women for the rudeness. They're right about that. And I did have a problem with that. But I noticed a lot of white women, they live pretty comfortable, materialistic, little perfect lives. And they get out there and they're shocked and offended that the Chinese aren't looking at them and going, wow, like so many white Westerner men will do. I did have a problem with Hong Kong rudeness, no doubt about it. But I still got out there every day, and I met people. And I even had Chinese people tell me, wow, you don't drink? You're an American and you don't drink? I had Chinese people, Filipina, Indonesian, Pakistani say, wow, you're really nice for an American. It's like, really? Oh, gosh, they hate us. They're jerks. They're drunks. They're loud. They're obnoxious. I lived in Central, Hong Kong, just above Soho, and I'd watch all those Aussie women get drunk and yell, and carry on in the street, waking me out of a deep sleep Fridays and Saturday nights. I saw rudeness from them to the Chinese, and the one thing that bothered me, you're in their world. Don't expect the West to marry the East. You're in their world, and maybe they find your culture of insular, a uh, little, you know, comfortable lifestyles to be offensive to them. What I found with a lot of white women including, and I'm going to talk about my Australian, Singaporean lady friend from Australia, but Singaporean descent, took me out to dinner one night. Her husband is an engineer and a very nice gentleman from Germany. These couple, the nicest people I know. But she even said to her Aussie female friends, you have no idea 
what most of the Chinese life in Hong Kong is really like. You live in your cushy little upper end environments. You don't pay your rent. A big percentage of Hong Kong Chinese live very poor and live in cage housing or inadequate housing. And the white women don't know that. And then they wonder why a lot of Chinese don't accept them. Well, part of that is because they think, you got the comfortable little perfect life. So they're not real comfortable with that anyway. Chinese do have their own culture. And I have found that out. And I still admire their culture, even though I saw a rudeness that drove me nuts. The pushing, the shoving, the cutting in line. But I found my own way to deal with it. When you live in that culture... You learn to, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. You stiffen your shoulder, you walk straight up, and you don't move either. I don't mean leave and being rude, but when I saw what was going on, and when somebody cuts in line, sometimes I politely put my hands on their shoulder and say, ah, pan you out back there, and I would move right in front of them. They're not going to knock me to the ground. I don't put up with manners like that. You want to take cuts, I will simply move you gently over and say, excuse me, ah, back there. My personal experience is, is that the white women, just like I've been talking about American culture with feminism and all that, now I'm not saying these women are feminists, I don't know them, but I found they don't assimilate, they hole up in their little white communities. White women, I lived in Shangwan, I rented in a flat, and the whole building was Chinese, I went out my door and I was surrounded by Chinese, there was no white people at all. And you know, it took me time, but the shop owner downstairs, my age Chinese woman, finally started saying hello to me and smiling. People started getting to know me in the restaurants. People said, you know, you're all by yourself and you come over here into our culture. I had Chinese people say, oh yeah, they all live on the hill there and they don't want anything to do with us and then they complain about our ways. Interesting. I complained about the manners, but I trafficked in the Chinese culture every day. And you know what? There was quite a few Chinese people that smiled at me and reached across the bridge to get to know me. I don't know too many white women in Hong Kong culture that really, really are trying to assimilate. You live very comfortable lives, bonbon lives. You're not working. You stay at home, play all day, shop, most of you. I'm not talking about those who raise children and stuff, but even then you got nannies. I don't think a lot of Chinese can relate to some of you all. I don't think they want to. I'm an American. I have finally decided in my life I'm done dating white females. I will date anybody around the globe before I'll date a white woman. Hands down. Done. Finished. I'm not a chauvinist. I'm not abusive. But I've had enough. So this is my response. What is the solution to all this? I'm not really sure. I think if Western women learn to be a little bit tougher and learn to realize that not everybody's just like them and start getting to know them anyway, even though there is some rude offensiveness, but I don't see that happening. I dated a Chinese woman who lived in Hong Kong from Guangdong province who lived on Lantau. We got along just fine. You know what's funny? I couldn't speak hardly any of her language, nor she mine. We got along great. I had some Chinese friends, and if you take the effort to get to know some of their language and genuinely care, but you're going to have to get out of your cushy areas and you're going to have to go down to the the, the areas where the common people work. And when they see you over and over and over again, then maybe they might start to accept. This is just Pacific's take on it. I'm not an expert on Hong Kong, but I do know a lot, and I experienced it because I didn't play the tourist. I'm not rich. I went over there on my own budget, my own bank account, and I spent time in that culture, and I didn't live in a little cushy white areas. In fact, the more I saw the behavior, I stayed away from that. My friends were international, and some of them are still friends with me today, Skype. We call each other on the phone. I love being international. And if I could find a job in Hong Kong, shoot, I'd take it a minute. This specific signing off is just my thoughts on it. Bye-bye.